Okay, you looking at me starting a session right now. I got no sweat on my face, no sweat on my arms, none of that. Uh, whatever time it says on there, whenever I get done, it's gonna be less than an hour before that. I'm about to work out with no music for you bastards because I'm gonna have the camera running this whole time. So be grateful. Uh, it's gonna suck for me, but if it helps y'all, that's all that matters. is doing body weight stuff just to get my blood flowing um, and so my session is about to take even longer than usual because I'm gonna be talking into the camera and shit but normally I just start moving around and really try to get my blood going uh, get my heart rate up so in my opinion people spend too much time um, with the bar and not enough time warming up before they ever get the bar. So I make sure I'm warm before I before I grab the bar and start putting weights on there. So I'm not doing sets of 12 and shit to warm up with the bar because I'm warm before I touch it. So Do 10 of these. I promise you your heart rate will be up by the time you get to 10. Feel pretty warm with my body weight. Then I start doing some barbell yoga. I just start moving around. Same thing. Just trying to get warm. Trying to get some blood flowing. It's cold up in this gym, and uh, John didn't turn the heat on. He probably didn't know I was coming today. So uh, this bar is cold as shit. That's definitely gonna affect my hook grip. because I ain't never been a hoe. straight reds what about it if you don't put on reds first no nah, i'm not gonna say nothing so i haven't actually looked at the time but i do so much that i know that was a little short of five minutes I'm probably roughly at five minutes right now. Normally I'm over 
for 10 minutes, but I'm just not in the mood to today. We'll see if that affects my top sets. So, first thing I do, no hook grip. I do not use hook grip until I get to my top sets because I don't want my thumbs hurting and tired before I get there. So, regular double overhand. This is baby weight. I don't need hook grip for this. I usually know if it's gonna be a good day by the first weight I put on. I know no matter what, if I'm gonna have a good day or a bad day from that first weight, and I feel good, so that's good. Okay, I'm about to cut the video off, only because I wanna check and make sure it's gonna save right and stuff, because it's a new app. I don't want to go a whole session and think I recorded everything. I've, I've had that happen before, so. Okay, video should be back. Hopefully the sound's working. I'm just gonna, I just keep putting res on. There's only, uh, there's four sets of res, so. Uh, it's only 484 pounds when I put all the reds on, so there's no point in making jumps in between. And then I'll just go blues from there. Uh, but yeah. So even still, on the second weight, I still want to use hooks. I don't even put chalk on. I just focus on my technique, try to make sure I'm setting up everything right. Um, so that when I put on a big weight, continue those practices. Shit that makes me sweat. Putting on the waist, taking that shit off. That shit's like fucking shit's like cardio almost, bro. Ugh. Yes, I'm one of those people that puts clips on. I got scoliosis, okay? That's not actually why I put cups on, I'm just like, I don't want the weight to slide off. But I do have scoliosis if you didn't know. So, in my opinion, people bullshit on their phone too much. I hate to sound like one of those old school dudes, but it's true. People be on their phones, Instagram, no focus, taking seven minute breaks and shit. What the fuck you need to take seven minutes for? Fuck you need to take seven minutes for you're not maxing out, you're doing sets. Get to the next fucking set. Two minutes, three minutes. Definitely not seven. Definitely not five. Five for the top set, maybe. Get your mind right. Let your body get to where it needs to get so that you can be recovered so they can lift the next weight. But you don't need fucking seven minutes on your warm-up sets. It's just not even heavy. Still, no hook, no chalk on this weight. Probably on the next one, I'll put some chalk on. It depends on how slippery it feels. If this doesn't feel slippery, I might not. You'll be able to tell if it looks like it's sliding out of my hands.
sit down over here. p.m. but I'm at five minutes on the video so around a minute and 30 seconds from now I'll take the next I'll take the next round tell you something uh, that maybe will help your deadlift because people talk in extremes they talk like oh you need to be super vertical oh you need to be in a hinge position make sure you're all the way over that shit stupid as fuck but anyways yeah if you're super over the bar you're gonna have a really time you're gonna have a really tough time locking it out because you're starting here and you gotta come all the way like this at the end so you you start over the bar like this, and you get here, and then you're like doing this very slow thing, and your lower back hurts for five days after that. But if you get in a better position at the start, instead of being here, just come right here. Then when you pull, when you get here, it's only a short lean back. So you gotta decrease that angle at the beginning so that it's not such a big distance to cover at the end, if that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, you'll see when I pull right now. Might be kind of hard to see that angle from the front, but I'm gonna talk through it while I do it, so. Let's see if it's time. Yeah. Okay. Put some chalk on. So this is, this is super light, so I'll be able to talk you through it. It's only 484 pounds. So I'm gonna get very tall, long arms and my chest is gonna be up. shit for 20 reps so keep lifting keep lifting let's see 220 oh, let's go I could put a blue on but that shit gonna be heavy straight to 260 if I go 260 from here then I have to go 280 after that and decide if I want to go 300 on my last lift. Uh, okay. So I'm making a pretty big jump here. Um, and I still, I'm going to be using my hooks for the first time on the next set. So it'll make the lift slightly easier. Cause I had to worry about that shit coming out of my hands on the last rep with no hook. So I bring my hooks in when it gets a little more difficult. See, this is what I'm talking about though. Let me check the time. Fifteen right now, and I started at what four fifty-five. The timestamp is gonna be on there, but it hasn't even been twenty minutes, and I'm already about to take two sixty, which is 
something like 572 pounds, something like that. Um, I don't be bullshit. You put the weight on, you take the next set as soon as you're ready. I'm not on my phone fucking around and stuff like that. Maybe if I was lifting with my friend, which is why I don't be lifting with nobody, because I don't got time to fuck around. I'm not trying to be in the gym for three hours. I'm not trying to be in the gym for two hours. One and a half max, if I have a lot of work to do, or if I'm lifting with my coach on that day, because obviously we have conversations in between. But like I said, if I'm by myself, I'm not fucking around. I'm trying to get in here and lift. This shit's about my health. It's about being fit. It's not about um, looking cool for the gram. I make these videos to help y'all, but... That's it. I still would be doing this shit if I wasn't making these videos. Um, I've been lifting before Instagram even existed. I was lifting before YouTube existed. Uh, like I said, you, you could probably look up my old channel still. Um, I got videos on there from 2010 when I didn't think you, being a YouTuber could be a thing. I was just uploading videos so I would have somewhere to look at them. Um, I missed that train. I could have been a YouTuber, bro. I should have fucking kept uploading videos and shit. But fuck it, that's the past. So, uh, yeah, this session was on the fly, right? So there's no solid plan. But uh, what I do on those days is I have a number in mind. So I'll tell you right now, I think I already said it, but I'm for sure going to do 280. And if that goes okay, I'll put on 300, which is like 660 pounds, right? Um, but it's not, it's, not a hard, it's not a hard number. If I feel trash on this or the next one, I'll be like, yeah, fuck it, it's not worth it. And uh, my session will essentially be over uh, in one more lift and two at the max. Um, so either way, I come in here and get the work done. get some more chalk and take this look. Whew. So, I expect this to be my toughest lift as far as spilling. It might not look hard on camera, but I expect this to be my toughest lift because I'm making a big jump into a higher percentage. Uh, if I do two more lifts after this, there'll be smaller jumps and they'll actually feel easier even though they're heavier. This is gonna be my toughest lift of the day. So, if this feels good and if it looks good, then I know I'm, I'm good to go for the next things that I wanna do. If it looks rough, then maybe I only got one more lift in me after this. But, we're about to find out. I've never been a bitch, so. Keep in mind, I haven't deadlifted in, I don't know, it's been months now. The last time I pulled, I pulled 705, but I want to say that was in August. I want to say that was in August. It's been like five months since I've deadlifted, so uh, these are just lifts that I know I can make, but they do not feel easy.
But that wasn't that wasn't easy. really well. I know how my lips are going to go. Like I said before I ever get there, I know what I'm capable of on that day. Like within, you know, like 5%, bro. I could tell you if I could deadlift 700 on a day. Maybe I couldn't tell you if I could do 710. I'll say I don't know about that, but I know I could do this number. Um, so I know I'm a full 660 right now. It's just, it's not going to be very fun. And it's probably gonna look easy on camera. Y'all say, oh, it was nothing. But it's not gonna feel good. But I do know that I'm gonna do it. Uh, with the exception of like straining the muscle or something, I'll, I'll pull it for sure. Make sure this, this is 300 first. I can see this, but the weights are like shifted this way, and so I'm trying to look straight and I'm pulling it off the ground and it's like moving. So I need to find a spot where the weight uh, doesn't shift off the ground because at a heavy weight, that'll actually fuck you up. So when I grab the bar, it needs to not be moving, or at least not that way. So This is the only time that I actually take five to seven minutes. I'm gonna sit down, uh, visualize myself hitting the weight, visualize what it's gonna feel like, what it's gonna look like. I'm preparing for it to feel heavy. I know, I know Ronnie Coleman says lightweight. I don't say that shit. I always prepare for it to be heavy because worst case scenario, I pull super hard and I smack that shit. Best case scenario, I'm like, yeah, this is just as heavy as I thought. And I pull that shit. People be trying to tell themselves like, oh, it's just weight, it's light. Like, nah, bro, when that shit feels heavy, you're gonna be like, you're just gonna let go, because you're gonna be like, damn, this shit heavy as fuck. <laughs> Top set. I don't even think I'm at 45 minutes yet. Come on. Focus, baby. Focus. turn the camera off to watch that lift but I'm gonna keep the camera on and rolling for the put back process and a little bit of accessories that I'm gonna do today because I'm still not at an hour and I still think after I do my accessories I still think I'm gonna be at like 50 something minutes so but that was the end of the deadlifts not doing no back offs or nothing they're just a, a single uh, it went it went as expected. Maybe, maybe a little bit better. Um, I judge my strength 
and uh, the, the, the level that I'm at by what I can do on any given day. So a max day uh, doesn't really mean much to me. So uh, the fact I can come in and do this is really good. About a year or two ago, um, first day back deadlifts, I would aim for roughly, roughly 600. Uh, that was about two years ago. Last year, uh, first day back deadlifts, I would tell myself if I could do 620, 630, then I was good for 700 in a couple of weeks. So to come back to 660, honestly, um, that just means if I actually dedicated a, a good two months to deadlifting, I think I could pull something huge. I'm not going to do it, but I just think I could. What time is it? 5.36. I'm not even... What is that? I think that's 39 minutes, maybe 40. I still got time. I could do some curls. Uh, could do some curls. We're burning some calories, boys. I'm starting to sweat. No, I didn't even sweat from the deadlifts. This that shit right here. This is like a strongman event. Plate changer. They should put this in the games. Strip the bar of 700 pounds in less than two minutes. By the way, I'm really not gonna chop and edit this at all besides merging all the clips together. So if I said anything weird to myself when I was putting chalk on or when I was on the bar, uh, sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna take 30 seconds to, to calm down from that. And then I'm gonna do about four sets of some accessory work. I'm just about to do the curls, tricep extensions, and then some flies.
Now I'm sweating. What time am I? I'm still good on time. I'm not even at 50 minutes. We good. Take like 30 seconds. Then do the next set. Overall good session. I got good sleep last night. Um, I ate a okay breakfast. So my energy levels were good. Very good. Some smaller place for the flies. I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> Bitch boys in the house. to see what y'all are going to say because most people see my sessions and they're like what that's it how are you getting anything from me but clearly <laughs> i get more gains than you <laughs> so maybe you're doing too much honestly uh progression takes less than people think you just need to do more than you did before you do not need to fucking run yourself into the ground every single session you need to be working on being better not simply just putting more weight on the bar doing it any way that you can. Could I have pulled 700 plus today? Of course, 100%. This shit would have broken my back. I would have been sore for the next three days probably because I would have got out of position, which is why I didn't do it. So uh, there's lots of different things that are included in progression, including cutting your break time down. If you can do the same amount of work with three minute breaks instead of seven, then you've improved. Um, so, Speed it up. Get off your fucking phone. Stop being a little bitch. Alright. I'm doing one more set. Damn. Damn, son. Damn, look at this guy. Thing. 
Finish for the day, boy. that time say 547 I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I started at 457 so deadlift plus small accessories in less than an hour really it would have taken less than that 50 minutes but I did a lot of talking in the camera a lot of extra shit so there you have it